What's poppin' pizza pals? It's time for another edition of Jordan's Frozen Pizza Review. Every week or so, we take a bite out of the frozen pizza industry. No corporate dollars. Today we have some friends. Make some noise for Yamaha. Zeke, make some noise. <laughs> so, this is the first in Jordan's Frozen Pizza Review history. You guys have presented, you guys are gonna present a pizza. Yeah. Do you wanna slide it down like a mobster? Like, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, slide it like it's, um, we, have, we brought so no, yeah. Slide it, right? Yeah, but it. yeah. There's, there's two, there's two, there's two pizzas. Okay. So we got two. I'm gonna fire up the oven. We'll do one at a time. Yep. Okay, we're gonna eat two. If yeah, we, if we have time. Yeah, we'll see right. what happens. Here we go. Wow, the Daya? <laughs> the Daya? Like the. Nice. I don't know if it's Daya. It still look pretty. Um, the mushroom and roasted garlic. I hate mushroom. Can oh, we do this? Oh, you guys. Pick another one. Yeah, it's like the other one. Yeah. 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 Is it the same kind? I mean, dude, kind? I love mushrooms. Okay, well, we can. How dare you? You love mushrooms. I love mushrooms, Zine. Whatever you want, George. Oh, there's more mushrooms. Supreme. <laughs> <laughs> Is there really more mushrooms? All right, screw it. We're gonna do it. So what you can pick them, dude. Should pick we do the one. mushrooms? Or I kind of like you the idea. If they them. both have mushrooms, I kind of want to do the roasted garlic and expand my palate. Okay. Dude, I have really bad coffee breath right now, so roasted garlic breath <laughs> would Gosh. create a <laughs> that is, of that bad honestly, breath. Honestly, I can't wait to smell it. I know, dude. Um, we can kiss later. What? Do, yeah. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. You're married. I'm engaged. Dude. Married boys. Married boys. Monogamy yeah. is not dead. Um, right, are you guys dude. familiar with the criteria of Jordan's Frozen Pizza Review? Have, are you familiar with the I segment? Can't say a little bit, yeah, I am a little bit. Thanks for coming. I couldn't recite it. Yeah, thanks for watching. Spot, but I... So we review on five criteria: mouthfeel, texture, consistency, topping, sauce to crust ratio, pa packaging, packaging. And as artists, I want to know what do you guys think about this packaging? You guys so, have like a distinct vibe. I yeah. mean, so Jake is dairy free. Yeah, that's true. Vegans. They're vegans, which okay. is why this was like the yam house. Yeah. yeah. Pizza today was. Well, Seth looks nervous. I'm a, I'm a, you know this this I'm is a board right now. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna say for package design, this looks a little bit like they're targeting um, yoga moms. See, the, to me, this looks a little bit preschool to me. Like okay. it's like it's like you know Very cartoon nice. like, leaves. Sure. Yeah. Like what's yeah. going on? Not cartoon leaves. Like cardboard cutout. Yes. Construction papery. Yeah. How do you feel about this font conversation? A lot of fonts. A lot of yeah. different yeah. stuff going on. Yeah. yeah. There's, four There's too much fonts. information on it. There's only four or three. Yeah. Sans I mean, serif. They let you know, though. It's very and slave free. That's a hard to. That is nice. Oh, I miss. That's helpful. That's I like the presentation. I like the I like the pizza up top. It looks decadent. It does look good. It looks really good. Yeah, man. it looks solid. I, um, I do have a question. Do, what's who up? is holding that slice of pizza in, in this photo? Oh, my God. <laughs> it's kind of just. It's just floating. It was oh. Jerry, the, the marketing director, just like holding it ever so slightly, and then they're cutting it out. He's got like a selfie stick, ten feet yeah. away. Yo, where's the hand? Phantom hand. If you do a bit where it's like, like this, and then it's yeah. kind of like I'm holding it. Okay. Well, let's do it. Um, yeah, I'm, I don't do well with mushrooms because I don't know if I like the taste or not. They just are slimy. Yeah, I get that. Totally get so that. I'm a huge uh, mushroom guy. Yeah. Mainly because of the mouthfeel. Really. I love the slime. Well, we, let's, uh, I, 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 same way. Spoken from, a, from the vegan perspective, mushrooms often serve Dude. as a, like a meat, if, and the mouthfeel is almost similar to meat consistency. Okay. And so, it's like very a common. Like a mushroom burger. Yeah, it's very common. Oh, yeah. Like the patties sometimes. Interesting. Well, yeah. do you guys mind if I bust it open real quick? Oh, yeah, bust it. Bust Dude, down, Pizziano. Oh, dude. Oh, so Blue here face. we go. Oh, oh no. Here we go. Oh, no. What's going on with this consistency, guys? You, co you come good. into my house, <laughs> you bring this trash pizza it's with like, a weird consistency. It's like an underpaid, angry worker just like threw the mushrooms on the pizza from like five feet away on an assembly line angrily. There's no way five. that's machine. Yeah, that's just, it, lo it, it, it looks, it looks poor. Um, Zach, do you mind um, busting it open even further and then giving us a smell test? The unofficial sure. six criteria. Well, so, yeah. <laughs> It is. There's no cheese on here. It's fake cheese. So you're not going to get that like fake cheese cheese. smell. Yeah. Well, I've noticed that. That's fine. What do you think? It's not bad, actually. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Send, it, send it over here. That doesn't look like a mushroom. At the end, it looks like a like a, one of those Gardetto the, chips. What are these things right there? Gardetto, Gardetto chips? Yeah. I think that's the garlic. It's Lars, little, like, clear things. Ready? Oh, Should I really eat sorry. that? I don't know. I mean, it's yeah, it's just a mushroom. Okay. You, can't, you can't catch it? Right. I can't eat it. It's a... Uh, nice. 
It's a vegan mushroom. It smells strong. That's good. <laughs> that's dang. It doesn't good. smell bad. It doesn't smell good. <laughs> Hold up. I might get food poisoning from that frozen frozen mushroom. That's a dude. No. No, you're not. No, it's a mushroom. Yeah, it's and frozen. It's frozen. Mushroom. Yeah. Frozen things are always safer. Fine. Okay, frozen mold. <laughs> Your thoughts? Yeah. Are, are you just gymming it right now? Yeah. Um, okay, so this is also great. I'm, yeah, I'm oh wait, have, you, you have you heard the story about this oven? No, oh, I'm, I'm smelling it right now. Yeah, so get, get, get in there. Um, so of, our morning gosh. show, Ben and Dana, they were tweeting Glenn Perkins when he was uh, like the oh, reliever yeah. for the Twins, and they're talking about frozen pizzas, and he like replied back to Dana like. Man, you're, that pizza oven's trash, let me get you right. And then the next day, <laughs> this show's up. No. So it's the Glenn Perkins Super Pizza Oven 9000. Thank you, Glenn. Oh, Thank you, Dana. Glenn Perkins, yeah. Yeah. Thank you to our sponsors, Glenn Perkins and the Super Pizza hey, Oven Hey, no 9, corporate 000. dollars, actually. That's so. right, yeah, that's right. All right. <laughs> so we gotta, we gotta put it in. To quote yeah. McLovin, oh my God, it's in. <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah, careful with the back. Yeah, there you go. You're good now. Yeah, she's about to back it up. Hey, well, as the as the one of the non-vegans in the group, I'm just as skeptical as you are right now. Yeah, I don't I'm a know. Worried about what we're getting into. I'm right stoked now. about the garlic. I'm not stoked about the mushroom. Dude, be cool. like, cheese. As a spoken from a vegan pizza consumer, <laughs> just recently, the I will, I would rather have no cheese than vegan cheese in my opinion. Jake, would you agree? Typically. My hand smells yeah. bad from touching <laughs> the pizza. That's Dude. a sign. It's like prom night all over again. Well, so, I want to know what's, what's the best pizza you've consumed so far? Yeah, so who's the top we, of the list? Oh man, so there was the Detroit style pizza, but that got a high score only because it was so unexpected. It was like barbecue sauce and pulled pork and bacon, and I had like a low floor for it, and it blew, up, it blew it out, like my expectation out of the water. So it was kind of like a rigged scale. The downfalls of, you know, Dude, rating things. So it was really good. <laughs> you miss out roasted garlic and mushrooms and getting, doing it for you. <laughs> yeah. What you just said made my mouth water. Yeah, what really we're good. about to eat. There's also a Peps, uh, Peps original, um, our graphic designer, Kush. He brought this in from Lunds and Byerly's. Fancy. Ooh. He's a foodie. He brought in this pizza from there and it was a um, great sausage. I love a good sausage. Yeah, me too. Yeah. I'm yeah. surprised you don't like mushrooms with sausage. That's like a classic I iconic feel, pairing. Yeah, I'd imagine like you just, or you just take the sausage and you put the mushroom on top. Of it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? You just layer it for that flavor. Yeah, dude, I know what you mean. Yeah. Help me. So you guys all have windbreakers on. Yeah. Is this the new era, the new aesthetic for Yam House? You know, the next album? I'm really glad you asked, Jordan. Yeah. Um, you know, we've been similar to your, your Detroit style pizza. Yeah. I'm hoping with this next album, and with our next aesthetic, there's really low expectations that will just shatter, you know? Yeah. Um, Windbreakers are our current idea. We're kind of exploring that thesis that Windbreakers are cool. Ooh, how is that a thesis? Well, what are we working with? What's the. Depends on, you know, it depends on, there's a lot of different criteria for Windbreakers. There's a uh, fit. Yeah. There's um, loudness. Okay. Um, there is. Oh wow. Um, there's. You're zip. actually answering this. Huh? There's zip. Um, <laughs> there's zip placement. Okay. Um, so that's the sequencing of the album. Well, I don't want to give too much is away. Fit, is fit tempo. Um, flare kind of is like flare. style. Dude, sure. flare. Zip is sequencing. So like, and then there's warmth and like comfortability. Yeah. Seth's hits on a lot of different criteria. Yeah, Seth's yours goes very hard. I love the it's, checker and like the, yep. that, that. It's got good flare. Like double layer, good on warmth, good flare. And the magenta. Yeah. The fit is a little bit loose. I, I like it. We but actually. But still formed. We just came in to promote our Windbreaker review April 5th. The pizza show. <laughs> yeah. Last import, early eyes. Dude. It's gonna be honestly fire. It's gonna be crazy. It's a special night, honestly. Mm -hmm. I feel like and those two bands, especially. Yeah, I think it really it, it, uh, kind of encapsulates what's happening in like the alternative scene in Minneapolis. I yeah. mean, wow. uh, you got like the early eyes, the hipster, you got the, and then the punk, and then you got like that, that pop alt land. I think that's like the best of everything. Dude. And I, I mean, pop is not a pejorative term. I feel like because we talked about this at yep. the best new bands with like Star Tribune, like pop. It was like, oh, it's the pop band, shimmery, arena ready rock, like like Chris R wrote in Star Tribune, which is good. Don't, yeah, yeah but like, it's not a pejorative. Like no, when I say good. pop, I mean, Honestly, I, I did not say top 40. Top 40 is a pejorative. Pop is like Carly Rae Jepsen, yeah, Ariana, dude. Yam House. Dude. Like, that's dude, a good careful. association. Dude, careful putting, that's amazing. Uh, we don't deserve being next to those Come names. On. Yes, you do. Thank you, man. But yeah, our supportive. jumpsuits are pretty cool, though, or our, uh, our jackets. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
is nice when we go, actually, when the four of us go into some place with these on. Yeah. yeah. Usually, usually people are like, experimenting with the whole matching thing. We're not I, but is it matching or is it coordination? It's coordination. Yeah. That's yeah. more accurate. That's, that's, good. Good. that's, a, good, that's a good separation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because matching is like, uh, coordination is like, oh, you thought about that. Oh, oh dude. Hey. Like, literally mid this pizza show, my yeah. mind. Um, being fashion enlightened. Inspiration. Fashion gods, we're fashion emperors. What were, was our beat? Was fashion officials. Fashion officials. You do have good fashion. The, the, I oh, the dude, you thank you. You really do. You, I, I, you have your own thing going on here in Minneapolis. Man, dude. you're starting a trend. What? It's like um, it's like the new streetwear DJ. You guys got a sick pair of black shoes on. Thank yes. you. Oh yeah, yo, these Air Force Ones. Dude, the Scotty Pippen, the Scotty Pippen Air Maxes you had on the other day, dude. Yeah, oh god, those are crazy for oh Air Max Day. Oh the, uh, the the 720s. 720s yeah, the up tempo 720s. Up tempos. Um, those are fire. So here we are as an you know alternative radio host, pop alt band, not a pejorative. Uh, <laughs> it's fine. Dude. Yeah, I just want to stipulate that. Yeah. Um, and we're we're talking, you know, we're talking about you know the hip hop flair. Um, Kicks, you know, derivative of hip hop yep. culture. Yep. As you know, being people in our mid twenties, like, how does we're outsiders to the culture? Yeah, oh for sure. So, but like, but still, it's kind of a pulse for our pop culture lifestyle. You know what I mean? Like, hip hop's such a big part of how we grew up. I mean, when we came, you know, middle school, when we started thinking about music and making our own decisions. Like yeah. it was Outkast, it was Soldier Boy, it was yeah. like crunk music. Yeah. How was when I was really young? It was Eminem. Like, I can remember when like yeah. Oh yeah, Eight Mile came out. Eight yeah. Mile came out too. And then uh, oh my band and all that D twelve stuff. D twelve, dude. Oh my um, god. Yeah. My band. My band. What was the other one? Just lose it. Ah, 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 yeah. Ah, oh my lord. Ah, ah, I, ah, 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 go crazy. Ever I went oh, through baby. a massive Eminem phase in middle school, and then something happened where I just flipped on a coin, like, and I just despise I Eminem. Dude, I Zach, know. Zach flipped that for sure. Yeah, it might I be still, the homophobia. It might be the woman. Yeah, bastard. there's some. I, I haven't studied his. It's him enough definitely to, like, that stuff, by the yeah. way. <laughs> it's <laughs> definitely <laughs> that stuff. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just whispering like, it's yeah. definitely it's that stuff. It's for sure those things. <laughs> There's a time for jokes. This smells, I'm sorry, it's a segue from a serious, good. From a serious conversation good, yes. about hip hop in our lives. Yeah. Um, smell? It's not smelling too bad at all. Really? Yeah, it smells pretty nice. Wow. Here, let me waft it your way. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah that saying. was actually really effective. Wow, yeah. yeah, that was cool. Pizza yeah. that was invented before. Here. Yeah, it might be previous pizza. It might be, but I'll, oh, we should That's wash true. Oh. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. That's like a, a good like skillet. You don't yeah. like a good pan, a good pizza griller. You just leave a, the, a barrel of wine. You let the wine age. A cask. Yes. A yes. cask. Yeah. Yo, I learned about those at the Guinness Storehouse where I proposed to my fiance. They had like this like little like documentary about casks. Yeah. I've never been so um, intrigued by wood since <laughs> prom night. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wood is a crazy thing. It's like sponge. Yeah. How they can it's warp like it. They can warp it and they burn it, but it doesn't burn. But it's wood. I know. It's weird. And it can Satan. like, and like, <laughs> yeah, dude, black magic for sure. Yeah. Dude, have you seen my wizard ring? Yeah, what's Speaking up with this? No, I magic. haven't, but what's up with this? My mom got it for me. Uh, shout out to my mom. My mom is uh, for sure Molly a witch, Weasley. and it's awesome. She, she gave me this wizard ring uh, for my wedding, actually. How is it a wizard ring? Um, I didn't mean to make the Molly Weasley joke and then to tear down the nice story about it being a similar, wedding gift. Yeah. Similar to a magician, a wizard never reveals his tricks. Okay, will you reveal the album title, though? Dude, that is a bold <laughs> statement, dude. What a what a thrilling what a thrilling what a thrilling what a thrilling thing for you to say yeah, well, on this show. Are you going to? Wizard ring. Wizard ring would be tight. It might be called, might be called the, thrill be of, the thrill of being a wizard. That's a terrible title. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's an amazing intro title. Terrible. No, album no corporate name. interests here. It's time for the hardest part: pulling out. Do you agree? <laughs> dude, I'm a wizard. It's not ready at all. Or is it burning? I can't tell. How does this cook? No, it's not ready, dude. It's not oh, normal. I don't know how normal cheese I feel like cheese usually okay. melts. Wait, yeah. you could do the- uh, Don't set careful, dude. Bush no, Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, dude. Yeah. Yeah, dude, look it's at that Gardetto. Yeah. It's kind of cool, Gardetto. It smells, it's a it rye smells chip. good, it smells yeah. good. Oh, it's rye good. chips, like, you know how they have like the, like the rye chip only oh. blend? Yeah, that's a good bag. Yeah, I'm gonna go, th go three more minutes, by the way. That's cool. Good. They've been that's around good. for a little while, so there's hope. I think they've learned their lessons on like how to like make really bad pieces. Vegan. Okay. So now it might be a little bit better. Or Especially specifically Daria. Daria. Do you know D D D Daria? Yeah. Somebody? Do you know? Him? Yeah, oh. I've had their stuff like. Jake works for him. I, I work for him first. These for are Jake's dollars. middle name is Daria. You guys brought corporate dollars, dude. Jake uh, into my house. Yeah. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> we joke, but again. All right. You heard it here first, kids. No, it, this will be far from the last. Um, 
Is it, is it ready? Dude, it still doesn't look, look like nothing. Look at this. It says, I can't believe that's saying, the same pizza. Okay, yeah, no, nice. okay. That, that's a good. It's misleading. Yeah. Yo, we've never done that in the. Consistency yeah. with the picture. Consistency, well, well that. Well, consistency is like that, but also it's like every bite has something delicious on it. Sure, sure, sure. Um, well, but yeah, this, this that's gonna be a problem. Look at that. Area that cheese is all melty on here. Dea, does it still look pretty? I don't think so. <laughs> a banger, by the that's, way, though. Yeah, that's, that's a good, and then that's not melty cheese. That is. It looks like cardboard it's cheese. Like, yeah, it does. It looks all segmented. It's also kind of hard. I think also I'm going to spit on it. <laughs> I'm yeah, so I sorry. It. I yeah. want it. All right. All right. Oh, wow. I've done this before. Okay, it smells pretty good though. All right, please. So are we going to use your necklace to cut it? No. Oh. Common kind of misconception, it's not actually a butcher's knife. That's cool. Thank That's you. Really are we going to cool. eat that other pizza? Are we going to throw that one in or no? Or just... um, I think we're just going to do this one because okay. my show starts in like <laughs> 18 minutes. <laughs> so we got to get going. Dude, um, right over here, this is like the cheese pizza section. Yeah. This is for you, dude. You think so? Well, I want to. I want to try the. I'm, I'm gonna try shrooms. You're gonna? Yeah. You gonna do shrooms? I'm gonna show. Yeah. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'll shroom. You think I won't? Dude. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's crispy over here, but soft over here. Now I don't know if that's a pizza problem or an oven problem. We had the same problem last week. It's probably, it's probably an oven problem. problem. Hey, Glenn, can you buy us another? <laughs> Glenn. All right. Can you get us the nine thousand and one, please? Um. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Dude, you should eat the Gardetto one. Uh, you think so? I kind of want this one. All right, I'll, I'll eat the Gardetto one. You eat the Gardetto one. I'm gonna take this one. Let's pass it around. What's the, what's the crust? Uh, it's actually gluten free crust. Yeah, but what it says is like, what? what, yeah, what is it? Can, I, can I see the yeah. box for ingredients? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just wanna see what's going on here. Yeah. What's inside of this thing? I have no idea. Gluten free uh, crust is uh, tapioca starch, brown rice flour, oh. white whole grain sorghum flour. Yep. All right. Bubble gum. Xanthan gum. That's bad. Right? Well, yeah, isn't it? I think. Thanos gum? It was like bad for you, though, right? Oh, no. It's not, it's not good. All right. The cheese didn't taste like cheese. It, it tasted right. like uh, cookie dough. Oh, or not that, cookie whoa, dough. Whoa, that's <laughs> great. <laughs> <laughs> that's the case. It tasted like, uh, you know, biscuits, like Pillsbury dough? Yeah. Before you actually oh, make so croissants. Oh, so it's not fun? Oh, yeah. Are we all, are we going to say that? Yeah, all right. Um, to Yam House, to the second oh, album. Dude, to the show. thank you, man. Playing, 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 playing. Plank. April 5th, and to Jordan. The street. Oh yeah. Oh god, it's not good. I'm no. sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. No, it's okay. uh -uh. Wait, is it good? No. <laughs> that's, a, that's a big negative for me. <laughs> yeah, that's. Yeah, I'm going negative too. The texture. The, the texture is really weird, but the flavor is not the worst. I'll go on record saying that the flavor is the worst. <laughs> I'm more, I've had vegan dishes before, and they are often quite flavorful. Ow! <laughs> Ow! Oh no, dude. Oh. You know what's really bringing this down for me? What? Is the sauce. Really? No. Yeah. That doesn't taste like marinara. There's no need for a, a non-vegan sauce to be bad quality. I feel like it, it should, should be. be. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. All right. It literally tastes like um, like if you were to make biscuits from like a like a roll of like yeah. Pillsbury and you get it like nice and soft. It does. Without it. cooking it, it just tastes like you're eating that. It does. Which I've done as a kid. It tastes like the anti-biscuit, the pre-biscuit. The pre-biscuit? Cheese is this supposed to be? Did you guys ever do that? You did it as a kid? Like eat dough? Yes. Yeah. Dude, it was actually do. so good. Really? Yeah, dough. Not like well, cookie dough. Oh, well cookie dough is different. That's obviously good. Yo, so like, um, with my fiance, mm. like I'll, we'll be making, like, let's make cookies. And then whenever, like we get like the, the, the broken up cubes, like we'll break them up and then I'll eat one. Cause yeah. like, I'm trying to eat the cookie dough. I said, like, no, that could be a cookie. I'm like, yeah, but it's also cookie dough. Uh, which is better than cookies. Yeah, cookie I, 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 I think they're about, they're the two sides of the same coin, delicious and delicious. All right. Okay. Well, well, how, how passive is it here? <laughs> no, no. Just the, yeah. Lick like the spatula for cookie dough? Like when you're oh yeah, my mom was like, "Here you go." Yeah, it was totally fine. Yeah, yeah. I, I scooped it. How many people actually get sick of cookie dough? I've never known anyone get sick. We all have computers in our pockets. Should we look it up? Dude, I don't want to right now. We're I can't finish this. We're reviewing uh, the pizza. Weird. Wait, bad? I don't like it. The 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 flavor of the cheese feels like I'm eating like a uh, chemical. It, tastes, it doesn't taste natural. This beat is a chemical. This pizza is a the chemical. It's a great song. Okay, yeah. So, okay, so what were the five? Eating no, it, dude. Mouthfeel. Bad. I, I think it was a solid mouthfeel. <laughs> didn't feel bad in there. It's just like I disagree. Is that is that like like the, the, the how texture? it feels? It's how it feels. No, texture is texture. Oh, okay, mouthfeel so is <laughs> mouthfeel. How does it feel in your mouth? I didn't feel great. I give it like a, like a two. Okay. And that's gratuitous. Out of, out of five. Out of five. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 
Or a one. If it's 10, then it's a I'll one. Two. Okay. I'll give it a two. Then we got texture. So, like, I don't. I, we were thinking about this the other day. We don't really know what texture means. <laughs> the texture was not great. Yeah. Because the, yeah, the it, cheese wasn't yeah. melted. It, it, it literally tasted like dough. Well, the dough, the dough on the What's top was left. The dough on the top. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, that's right. It's like. Yeah. Topping yeah. sauce to crust ratio. Slime. Yeah, it's it, very slimy. It's yeah. slimy. The ratio might be the strongest part of this pizza. Yeah, there is a good ratio. Yeah. Even, so, even between yeah. all the three. I think that's probably like a, I, I'll give it like a three and a half. I've seen better ratios. Okay. So we did packaging, mouthfeel, and then consistency. Every bite didn't have something on it. I only got mushrooms like on my fourth bite. And I know I was taking really small bites because it was nasty. Yeah. But still. Did we give official number for the packaging? I don't think we did. I think the packaging is like a, a, a three and a half. Three and a half? Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Uh, All right. They're not three. You're right. I'm looking at the fonts again. There's so many fonts. Yeah, There's dude. four fonts and so four fonts. lines. Yeah. Honestly, wow. I can't think of a worse pizza, though. Like, if I'm thinking about that, <laughs> the whole scale, I mean, I, know, I this... can't think of any pizza I'd rather have less. Dude. Right? Yeah. This is a really good pizza. So you did pick this one out. Just... <laughs> yeah. well, that's what I'm saying. You speak of the mic, dude. You made a bad choice. We don't know what to say about it. Well, I'm not proud of it. I would not recommend this. I think overall, I'm not even going to average them out. I think it's like a one and a half yeah, pizza. Yeah, I agree. Which we never gave anything a one and a half, but cumulatively, yeah. it's something like happens. I'm kind of digging it. I'll eat more of that. <laughs> okay. Dude, spoken like a true vegan. If you're a vegan, do you want that? Try it. No. Take okay. me straight. I'm also bad term. saying this, like just, you know, like you're like making, Dude, like destroying it. But if, honestly, if you're all about it, then no, no. I don't want. I don't want to. It's not the best pizza I've ever had. I don't want to. No, no, I, I don't want to. I want your honest thoughts, Jordan. I thought it was Garbo. <laughs> <laughs> Garbo is a great word. Garbo is a great word. I think it's hard to take uh, dishes that are exclusively non-vegan and then make them vegan. That's a fair, that's a fair, yeah, that's that is fair. Yeah. Do I have an outro song for this episode? Yeah, go on. Nibbling on vegan cheese, this pizza's all over me. The texture was terrible. Oh, terrible. The texture was terrible. Nibbling on vegan cheese, feel the sauce run over me. The cheese was a chemical. The cheese was a chemical. See you next week. <laughs>